In this video, I want to show you one of the glitchiest cover two beaters in Madden 22 and really one of the glitchiest concepts in Madden 22. To be honest with you, I hope EA patches this. This is um, insane and uh, really excited to break this down for you. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I have <coughs> new videos every single day to help you become a better Madden player. I also want to let you know about my Patreon membership. That's where you can get my full Gun Bunch offensive ebook. I've actually got 18 offensive and defensive guides available in the Patreon. The really cool part is by becoming a member for only $10 a month, you get access to all of them. The cool, uh, you can cancel your membership whenever you like, but you'll also get access to every update to all those ebooks. So all 18 ebooks, any new ebooks that we release while your membership is active. And we update those every week for you uh, with new material and new insight into the, the scheme. So if you want to get access to that, again, there's a link in the description below where you can sign up for it for just $10 a month and you can cancel whenever you want. So if you want to take advantage of that, head on down to the description, click the link and check that out. But let's talk today about the glitchiest cover two meter in Madden. And it comes to us out of the bunch offset, of course. And it's the cross halfback cross screen. Now, this is a concept, really quickly, this is a concept that you can do from other formations. But one of the things I want to quickly point out about this is you do want to have escape artists for this concept uh, because it's going to help you get out of the pocket and not have to worry about any pressure, which is very helpful. Okay. So, what we're going to do with this is I'm going to go to cover two. And what you're going to notice is we're going to want to double team uh, this defensive tackle and slide our line to the right. And what you're going to notice within this is if you max pro, nothing, you're not going to be able to change any of the routes. Um, but what you'll see here is if I can get out of the pocket, this circle receiver will crush the cover two, as you can see right there. And ideally what you want to do is you want to be to the short side of the field. Um, a lot of people will run cover two to the, to the bunch side because they're going to put a 30-yard they're going to put a 30 yard cloud uh, out here on the right side. So the beauty of this is you can run this to the short side. Obviously people could expect you to flip your bunch, right? But you can just run this to the short side. And what you'll see here is this thing just crucifies. Uh, it just crucifies cover two, as you can see. Now the really cool part about this also is it's actually going to kill um, cover three if they deep half. So um, if they deep half both of their uh, guys here, what you'll notice, I'll show you here. So this cover three Mabel, and we're just deep half of both of our guys. What you're gonna notice here is a lot of times this will get outside of that, as you can see, and same kind of thing, you can pass lead outside. And the worst thing, the only thing that can really bad happen is you might get an inaccurate because you are gonna be throwing on the run. But the beauty of this play is you're not hard. I mean, it's really hard to throw a pick. It, it really is hard to throw a pick. One of the things you might consider doing with this is motioning this running back to the right. I find that, that to be a little helpful because he'll kind of serve as a pull for the flats. And then you see here, this gets wide open over the top and you can have a massive, massive con or massive play. Now, another thing that you can do on this that is interesting to me is let's say that they're, so that's cover two, that's cover three with deep half. Let me show you cover three, just regular old cover three to the short side. And what you should notice here, so again, we're going to motion this guy across, kind of get the defense moving. Um, this cancels all court, all sorts of matching principles. Okay, that's not open. You can actually throw that right there, as you can see. So against cover three zone, um, I will say, you know, just a traditional vanilla cover three can play this fairly decently. But what you have in the concept is you have the ability to hit your crosser or you have the so you really are looking here first no okay here okay now i can throw back across my body and now i've got a beater over here on the left side for cover three as you can see right there very good play against cover three so it's not just a cover two play it does work against other coverages as well um cover four drop real quick let's take a look at that so let's say you run uh, cover four drop so same thing, you just want to try to slide to the right, get out of the pocket, see here. What you'll notice is cover four will probably defend this the best, um, but you can, a lot of times the zones will glitch out in this, and that's what's really the, the key uh, with this concept. But it's really the best against cover two. If they're running a lot of cover two on you, this is a great little play. You can, if you want to, just throw the screen. And here's why. So what you can do with this, which is kind of crazy, um, when you run out of the pocket, 
this will uh, glitch the zones. So what you can do is you can run this way, glitch those zones, run back this way, glitch those zones, then throw to your running back and look, there's nobody here. There's nobody here for 20 yards and it's a great way to attack uh, zone defense. So again, let me show you that one more time. So the beauty of this is you can motion this guy over here. Now this is gonna cancel any match coverage that they might have. I like to double team here and then I'm actually gonna roll this way and then come back around and throw it off my back foot and there's nobody there. All the zones blitz and I can just run with my running back for a good 20 yards. Um, if you wanna make it easier on yourself, what you can do is just say, okay, well, I'm just gonna run to the right. You'll see they're gonna blitz. Now I'm just gonna wait here and then throw the running back and now I can run all the way up field as you can see. There's nobody in the area. So that's a great way to use this as well. Now man-to-man -man coverage. Man-to-man um, -man coverage can sometimes play this decently. Um, they won't blitz as much, so what you'll see here if I roll out, now they're in man, but the thing is they're in man. So guess what I can do? I can just run with my quarterback and pick up about 30 yards. So this is just a great little play, man. It really is. Um, one thing that I think is underrated about this is you could motion this into a five wide look, and what will happen is, again, all the underneath zones are going to blitz, but look where the running back's at. He's in the middle of the field. Now he's got the whole field to be able to work. So that's another thing you can do with this. Um, but I really love this little play. It's it's such a glitch. I actually hate defending it. But what you'll see here again, just get out of pocket. Okay, they chase, they chase, they chase. I'll just lob that up. And you see, I mean, like literally, you just got so many blockers. And it can be crazy. So even if they, to cover the deep bomb, they have to be in cover three or cover two. And if they are in cover three or cover two, um, you can throw the screen against cover two too, but if they are in cover three or cover two, now your whole other, um, your screen's open. If, if they're in cover three, your crosser is really likely to be open because remember that deep third defender is going to kind of dumb out here. So if I see cover three, I could kind of roll out here and try to make something happen. So um, another little thing that you could do with this, one last little piece of this, is let's say you roll out this way. You see the zones are going to blitz. Now I just throw it up to my tight end. I've got a lead blocker. And you see, I mean, I'm just getting 30, 40 yards. So it's a great, uh, I call it a constraint theory play. It's something that just keeps the defense honest. To be honest with you, the best defense for this is cover four show two. And what you'll see in cover four show two is they're not going to chase um, necessarily. But it makes it, I mean, you can run with your quarterback, of course. So like if they're not going to chase you, the one problem with match is, to make the, the contained defense work on a match, you have to kind of drop some zones in certain directions. So you'll see you can you can try to scramble with your quarterback out of here. But I will say match is going to cover this the best, but most people don't run match. And also against match coverage, this is where a little trick comes in. That's why if I motion this guy over here, watch the match defense now, you're going to see oftentimes this will cancel the matching principles, and it turns it into kind of a traditional cover four. They all blitz me. I can throw however I want, 360 no scope and it works right, right just perfectly. So um, this is just a change of pace concept, but it's something that I think, you know, if it's, it's not just about the screen, but you can really, I mean, the screen is actually really good. And um, it's a great, the screen is more of a check down. You're really, what you want to do here is you want to roll right, you want to look up. No, that's not there. Okay, are they going to chase me? Yep, they're chasing. I'll just wait a little bit and then throw here. And now look at all the blockers I've got in front of me. So. This concept is such a glitch, definitely needs to be patched um, because there's really not a great way to defend this. If you've got a good quarterback that can get out of the pocket, like, good luck. It's just tough, and that's why Escape Artist is by far the best ability in the game and needs to be patched, and um, so we'll see what they do about it. But thanks for watching. This is a little update to the bunch for you. If you want to get my full bunch ebook, there's a link in the description of my Patreon. You get everything by joining the Patreon. Um, literally everything. So it's a great deal for you. Uh, you'll get not just a bunch ebook, but there's 17 other offensive and defensive ebooks are, that are in there. And it's only $10 a month and get you access to all of that. So thanks for watching the video. If you want to sign up for the Patreon, there's a link in the description below. So head on down there and click that link and you can go check it out.